Alright, so this is going to be a video about LG's new phone, which is the LG V10. Ever since LG's been talking about having a phone above the G series, or a super premium phone as they were calling it, we've gotten leaks and rumors of the LG V10, and, well, today it's official, and the specs on it are actually pretty decent. There's 5.7 inch screen, 2560 by 1440, with 513 ppi same as the g4 there's actually one of the big features is a secondary display which is 2.1 inches so i'm wondering if it's 5.7 plus 2.1 inches or is it 2.1 inches of the 5.7 inch screen being used for this secondary screen which basically it's like then it's like the galaxy s6 edge and then over in the galaxy note edge and phones like that where they have this that was on the side but this is at the very top so it can show you the weather when the phone's off and it's supposed to not use a lot of battery but we'll wait till the phone's actually out uh snapdragon 808 considering this is the super premium phone i'm surprised they didn't use anything higher but the g4 performs great mine performs great the only problem is there's launcher redry every so often but whenever i use a different launcher like nova i get none of that i just really like the lg launcher so i keep using it um Adreno 418, 4 gigs of RAM, same as the Note 4, or the Note 5, I meant, 64 gigs of storage, which is pretty amazing, considering most phones are still at 32, and the new Nexus 5X and the iPhone 6S are at 16. 64 gigs is going to be a pretty decent amount. 32 gigabytes was the base model on the G4, so, and most phones now. So 64, that's a great idea now. That's, I think it's time for Apple to drop a 16 gig but that's a different video and a different company at micro sd card and the removable battery but the micro sd card same as the g4 can go up to two terabytes it's going to be hard finding a two terabyte sd card but once you do it's going to be great there's actually a fingerprint scanner on here hopefully it works as well as like the new nexus phones or sony's or apple's fingerprint scanner ever since apple had one it's really been taken off. The S5's one was shit, though, and same with the Note 4 one. I've experienced that one. It was terrible. Hopefully, it's decent. And there's a 16-megapixel camera on the back, probably the same one as the G4, and a 5-megapixel front camera, but there's actually dual lens, so there's two front-facing cameras. I'm not sure what this will do. Will it make the... It's probably going to make the pictures better. Maybe your selfie stick. Maybe you're not going to need a selfie stick anymore to hold out the phone. Even though my G4, I never really needed one. Even though I tried some in stores, I just never was really a fan of one and never saw a point for it. But you know what? Better camera. Can't complain. 30. Here's the other problem I have. 3,000 milliamp hour removable battery. LG, you've been using 3,000 milliamps since the G2. I think it's time to upgrade now. You really should. I don't... I just would rather have a bigger battery, considering the G4 just does not last that long, and the G3 I heard was terrible battery life. The G2 lasts a long time, but that's because it's a smaller screen and lesser specs, and 3000 was bigger for the time, but considering phones like the Note, the Note 4 I believe had 3400 or 3200, it lasts much longer than my G4, and I had a Note 4 for quite some time, so that's saying that too. That's saying that a bigger battery is always better. Um, 3,000 milliamp hours, it's not always better, I was just saying that, but it's also going to have 40 minutes to, to do 50% charge, so 80 minutes will give you a full charge, and yes, it's having Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0, and it's having new, new camera features and all, but... The big feature is the second screen. First of all, the design of the phone looks really nice in my opinion. It actually kind of looks like a Droid Turbo considering the back. The back has like this texture. It's kind of like the Galaxy S5's um, backing, which I really liked. I know a lot of people hated it. And combined with the, what's it called? I'm trying to think of the phone. Droid Turbo. Yeah, I just mentioned it. Also, the fingerprint scanner seems to be on the back. I'm... That's probably the perfect place for it, besides Apple's on the front, but if you're just going to be a phone, I think phones that like the OnePlus 2 that have it on the front and use a home button, well, phones like the phones that have a physical home button should have it on the front, and phones that don't have it should have it on the power button. Yes, I know the Nexus 5X has it on the back, but this makes more sense considering LG's power button is on the back, and I actually really like it. It's uh, a lot easier to reach to the back of the phone than to move my hand 
all the way across and press the power button on the side or top, which I got used to after some time, and you probably will too if you've never used an LG phone. And the second screen is supposed to be show your weather, your day, your time, and I'm wondering if for, if third-party apps can use it, unlike the Note Edge, this will take off very well. If it's like the Note Edge where no one cares about it and just turns into a gimmick more than an actual feature and it gets in the way of swiping down for your notifications or something like that, then we're probably going to have a problem with it. But if it's just... If it's a nice added feature to the phone, like the S6 Edge, then I think it's really good. I really like this phone, and all I really would like for this phone is hopefully the processor and the battery are good enough, and the, the software skin, they get a little bit more smoothed out and lighten it up a bit so it's slightly faster. Yes, G4 is pretty fast now, but the launcher redraw happens every couple, every couple of hours or Every day or so it happens, so it's kind of annoying, but what do you guys say about this? I think it's really cool, and once Android 6.0 comes out, it's going to be really good. Considering 6.0 is going to add fingerprint scanner support basically to everything, and this should definitely get 6.0 by the end of the year, considering the G4, I believe they're working on it already, so it's going to work. It's going to be a pretty decent phone, and... It's going to have all the features of LG's previous phones, and I think it's nice, so that's all I have to say, and bye.